Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Saniksha Adnani and today's look is created using the Be Perfect palette. Love this palette. This is not my first look that I've created using this palette. I have a couple more looks using this palette. I'll link them down below. But I think this is like one of my favorite looks I've created using this palette. Love this palette so much. It's got some beautiful neutral colors here, colorful looks and the shimmery colors are just fabulous, especially this one and the highlighters are also beautiful and now without wasting any more time let's get started I've already done my eyebrows and I'm gonna go ahead with my carnival palette I'm gonna start by taking this uh, shade persuasion I'm adding this shade on my outer corner this one is a Zoeva 225 brush I've not used this brush since a very long time and I'm kind of surprised why I haven't been using it anyways it's super easy to blend this shade I'm just tapping and going a bit higher so I can blend the edges. Next, I'm going to take this baby pink color called Makeup. This one is also a Zoeva 227 brush and I'm just gently blending out the edges, not using a lot of pressure. I'm just pulling it out towards the edge so my eyes look lifted. Next, I'm going to take this darker berry shade in Reckless and I'm just adding it to the outer corner gently because I want to darken in the outer corner a bit more. I love adding dark colors to the outer corner because even that makes the eyes look lifted. I'm again going to take this shade Persuasion and I'm gently blending out the edges of that dark berry shade. Just remember not to add a lot of pressure on your brush. Next I'm going to add this Peppermint Shimmery shade on my eyelid. I'm going to first add the NYX Glitter Glue. I'm adding this Glitter Glue on my eyelid so the glitter shade will pop much better that way. So I'm adding the glitter glue all the way from the inner corner till where the purple shade is. And now on the same brush, I'm taking the turquoise blue color. In the next step, I'll blend these two where they meet otherwise it's gonna look like two block of colors kept next to each other so again taking the darker berry shade and just gently wiggling where both the colors meet just blending it out now before doing the inner corner i'm just adding a bit more primer over here so that my next color pops when i add it and i'm gonna take this color called soft spot I'm just adding this to the inner corner so I clean all the fall out. Now I'm adding the Urban Decay Face Primer. I got this sample with my last purchase from Sephora. The All Nighter collection is really good. Urban Decay is one brand which I can trust blindly. The products are amazing. I've never tried the primer before but it looks good. I feel it's making it nice and sticky so the foundation will stay for longer. Next, I'm adding my new Huda Beauty foundation. I am in 400 Macchiato G. It's quite long lasting. The last time when I wore it for the tutorial, it lasted me like almost eight to 10 hours without any touch up. Next, I'm adding the Huda Beauty Tantor. This one is in medium. I'm gonna create a line right above my cheekbone, on my jawline just a little bit on the forehead and of course in the sides of my nose and then I'm using the brush to just gently blend it just blending out the forehead and then for the nose I'm using a smaller flatter blending brush just going downward adding the Estee Lauder concealer Adding on the bridge of my nose, my upper lip, chin, and right under where I did my contour. Next, I'm adding the Huda Beauty powder in banana bread. I'm first adding the powder wherever I added concealer. Next, I'm using a large fluffy brush to add powder to the rest of my face. Next, I'm adding the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This one is an island thing. Adding wherever I added the cream contour to deepen it a bit more. Next, I'm going to mix the MAC blush. This is Pinch Me and Empire. Mine. I'm 
add on the apple of your cheeks and take it into the contouring next i'm adding the mac highlighter adding this right about the contouring on the bridge of my nose upper lip on my chin to complete the eye look i'm first adding this purple eyeliner to my waterline and i'm going to make it bleed also this is also by urban decay their pencils are the best pencils by far I'm going to first add this dark berry shade as close to the lash line as possible all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. Next I'm going to take the berry shade and adding this to the lower lash line just blending out the edges of the previous color. Then I'm blending out the edges with the blush pink color. Everything looks nice, blended and seamless. Next I'm adding some She Glam lashes and I'll be back. I went ahead and added lashes and I added mascara on my skin too i'm gonna wait for it to dry and then i'm gonna peel it out next i'm gonna mix the two fenty beauty lipsticks this one is an unlocked and unbuttoned i'm gonna add the darker color only towards the outer edge and now the lighter color towards the inside like an ombre effect gonna wait for it to dry and that's the final look using the carnival palette another look i created using this palette this palette is like my all-time favorite palette has some beautiful colors it has colorful colors it has neutral colors shimmery colors amazing amazing colors and uh, oh, i again forgot to use the highlighter from here those highlighters are amazing i've used them before beautiful highlighters and i ordered it online and i'll link it down below where i ordered it from i love the lipstick combination today that i tried fenty beauty lipsticks are just fabulous lipsticks like if you want to get some lipsticks new lipsticks fenty beauty lipsticks are just amazing i love when they dry up they look so matte and beautiful so yeah i hope you enjoyed this look thank you so much for watching my tutorial and uh, before going don't forget to like and subscribe and do leave a comment and i'll get back to you soon bye